Hey everybody, Erica here with One Berkshire, and you might think that all I'm interviewing today is a poster, but that's not true. I'm here in the most amazing recording studio, and we're going to check in on award-winning novelist, audiobook uh, editor, and, and narrator, Allison Lorkin, comedian, and all of these things. She's this amazing woman. Hi, and hi, she's Erica. <laughs> Hello. Hello, what yeah. are you doing? I, I'm recording. Actually. Oh, hello, you're narrating something. I'm narrating something. So um, tell us tell us about, where are we right now? We're like um, in this nifty little studio. Yeah, it's very nifty. It is very it's nifty. It's very nifty. We're in the Alison Larkin Presents recording studio, and today we've been recording the actor-director James Warwick, who's been uh, narrating uh, The Picture of Dorian Gray. That's right. Also Oswald. known as the director from uh, Fathers uh, Shakespeare and Shakespeare. Mothers and, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you might have seen him. And he director was of, I believe, uh, nominated for director of the year. Yes. And, and he was just here in this very seat. He was just just here in this very <laughs> seat. And look He's at this seat. You can uh, you can kind of see, I'm guessing, so how does it work? You would read something on this? Yeah, I would. Yeah, I, I would read something in here. You put these the headphones on, show us. So you put yeah, these headphones okay. on, the headphones and, then, the and then what? You speak right into this microphone. Alison Larkin presents, <laughs> and then whatever it is I'm presenting. And uh, next up, I'm doing this book called I Was Jane Austen's Best Friend because I narrated the complete novels of Jane Austen, uh, 81 hours of it, actually. Oh, my gosh. Which is very exciting. Um, but That's anyway, a lot of talking. Yes, it is. So uh, anyway, hi. Hi. So we're going to do a women in business interview with you. Oh, right. OK. Am I going to stay here? You can stay here. Or we can walk yeah, around. So let's show the studio from the outside. I'm very excited about it. You do realize this is my second day of recording. In this studio. I know we're breaking yeah. the studio in for her because yeah. this was literally built. Was it built last week or last weekend even? Right? Uh, last weekend. Yeah. yeah so yeah, somebody yeah. came up from New York City, and so the backstory here is that Allison decided within a week. Tell us the backstory. I, How did this happen? Well, um, I have an audiobook company, Allison Larkin Presents. I, I've narrated over two hundred audiobooks. Wow. And I'm basically I'm really a comedian and a novelist. I wrote a novel called The English American based on Wait, I gotta show your novel yeah, because okay, this okay. is great. Okay, so this is your story. Okay, this yeah, is oh, your the story. quick story. The quick story. Uh, I was adopted and found my birth mother in the United States. Hello. She was in Tennessee. Oh my god. I moved to New York. <laughs> I was a classical actress in England, moved to New York, became a stand up comic because what else do do <laughs> in, in America uh, right? yes and um, <laughs> my stand-up act became a one-woman show and it went to London to the West End I had two sitcom development deals to start in my own show with ABC and CBS <laughs> and then um, I had kids and I thought I actually am quite fond of them so I'm going to instead of being a sort of famous comedian I'm going to write novels so because I wrote you this... could do that a little more stationary yeah yeah, yeah 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 while they were sleeping so um I wrote the English American <laughs> which was is this your life story basically yeah it's it's a novel so it's, it's sort of maybe taken out taken a little bit off of your story <laughs> just a little it's bit a dad. <laughs> um and uh yeah it's about an adopted English woman who finds her birth mother in Georgia. In, in Georgia, because Tennessee would be too close to home. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> nobody knows it's me. Right, nobody would know it's you. And um, <laughs> and so, so I write this novel, and then this miracle happens, and it becomes a bestseller, and Simon oh Schuster publishes it. And then I, I narrated the audiobook of it, and it won an award. Because people love your voice. Okay. Yes. Well, I mean, I think we would all agree. We're yeah, hearing her talk. You love my voice. There's something amazing about the voice. Or so whatever, it. whatever it is. <laughs> so then I moved to the Berkshires with two young children, age nine and 11. Wow. And I get Lyme disease because everybody gets Lyme disease. Welcome to the Berkshires. In the Berkshires. <laughs> and I'm like, I have not gotten Lyme disease yet. I'm really glad to hear that. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> well, just, you know, so I'm ill yeah, with right. two kids. Right. Recently separated oh. from my husband. Yes. Going, oh, oh. What am I going to do when I win an award for the audiobook of The English American? And then this audiobook company says that if I will promise them 15 audiobooks a year, Ooh. they'll set me up with a home studio. So I've huh. since then narrated 200 books, moved to Stockbridge, which I love, by the way. Oh, wow. And uh, my kids are now um, much older. So you're here in the Berkshires narrating all of these audiobooks. Yeah, and then I think to myself, wait a second, why don't I have my own company? Because I was narrating mm. for Macmillan and Penguin and Random House and Tantor and Audible and and because I had a name, right. they, the books I was narrating were selling very well. And I suddenly thought, well, what if I set up my own company? Mm. And so I called very it Alison Larkin very smart. Presents. And we started with Pride and Prejudice. Ah, okay. And uh, I've just produced my 42nd book. And under, then, your, under your your brand, your studio. Under your... Alison Larkin Presents. Yes. And we've won five uh, Audiophile Earphones Awards. Wow. And it's very exciting. And... Um, 
alisonlarkinpresents.com with one L in Alison. If anybody one watching, one L in Alison. Uh, yes, otherwise you get a woman who does tapestry in Nebraska. Oh boy. <laughs> so then, so you invite me, or I get invited to the One Berkshire's Entrepreneur event, and I'm in my studio in Stockbridge. Who do I see all day long? The dog. Right. The guys at the coffee shop <laughs> and my kids. And I thought, hey, I'll go out and see some other people. See the big world. So I come to this building, the Workshires, which is yeah, above we're here the at the Workshires. It's above the Shaker Mill Tavern. Yep. Uh, in West in Stockbridge. West Stockbridge. And I and I meet all these really vibrant, interesting people. And I we all have to say a little something about who we are. And I said, Well, I'm Alison Larkin, I'm a comedian, I'm a novelist, I'm also an audiobook person, and I, it's really nice to see other people. Carden Rabin, who runs Boundless, mm -hmm. who and owns the workshops, and the workshops, mm -hmm. owns this building. Yes. Says, Well, why don't you rent an office here? And I tend to do things on hunches. <laughs> and I thought, yeah, why not? And now I'm gonna have the Alison Larkin Presents podcast coming out of here in January. And and I've decided anybody that wants a recording studio. We're going to have a really fair rate and a sliding scale, and we're going to produce audiobooks out of the Berkshires, and we're going to hire young people because it's Yay! really interesting work. There's give them engineers. some fun jobs to do. Right? Yeah, exactly. So my favorite part about this whole story is the time frame because all of this happened like literally two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Two yeah. weeks ago. Yeah. So yeah. this studio that you're looking at, let's do a little walk around of this because okay. so we're inside of a of like a typical office building, but Allison decided to put a pod version of an audio studio like you can these these walls are like that typical felted wall material and you saw inside it has all the cones to do sound quality and so she just decided to like plop one of these things right yes. here in the middle of the studio yeah and well it's soundproof i mean it's got a whisper room and i got this really great guy from new york um who uh sold sold me this at a great rate and and new house. and we've Perfect. already we've already recorded two books in it. Oh my god! Um, and in it's like very, two days, two yeah. books in two days. And one that's of them is a roll. local author called George Minkoff, who's written a delightful uh, children's series called Tickle Plenty. Oh and wow! And he asked me to narrate it, and I said, "Yeah, I'll do that for you." And then uh, we just had James Warwick in here, and we've got I'm going to be doing the podcast in here, and it's really fun. Yeah, it and the seems Sprout amazing. brothers, the Sprout brothers are in the same. That's building. true; they're your neighbors. So we get to have juice. <laughs> Green in, between, in between sets at right? lunchtime. All right, so yeah. tell me a little bit more about kind of this is just yeah, this is just mind blowing. So where do you plan to take your? You have a company that does audiobooks. I have a company that so far has produced forty-two audiobooks. They're distributed all over the world uh, by CD, by download, <laughs> and anybody interested can go to AlisonLarkinPresents.com. And I'm guessing your plan is to continue doing this. Yes, because I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm not just making a living, I'm living. I yeah. love it because with every audiobook, you know, you go into a different world. And I did the complete, can I show them? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The complete novels of Jane Austen. Um, was and this very, was the, like you said, 81 hours? 81 or hours. This took me four, four years. Oh my gosh. And the Sense and Sensibility uh, won an Earphones Award and it's had wonderful reviews. And then Jane Austen's great niece asked me to narrate her book which oh, wow. is Jane and Me and I've been invited to Jane Austen's home to speak next year Aww. and it's very exciting um, but I will be doing shows at the Mahaley. I did my one woman show called Alison Larkin Live at Shakespeare Just and recently. Company yeah, yeah. for Kristen and it Wham. was like a sold out show yes, if was. I remember correctly and then the Mahaley Theatre also sold out so I think I'm going to wait a year and then probably do the Mahaley again and Alison Larkin Live no what's going to be called Alison Larkin Presents Podcast look for it in January nice and um, so I can hear that there's some wisdom here that you have to share because you've wisdom. been doing this a long time wisdom. so share with us I've been asking this of our other women in business interviewees yes give us a few words of wisdom here like you're putting your mentoring hat on what could we benefit from learning through you or from you uh, if you're a girl don't think you can't do money ah uh, have your own bank account okay and uh, save 10% of everything that you make Hmm. So that by the time you're my age, if you've done that, if you've done that, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't learn to do that. I was taught by my dad that girls don't do money, ah. and uh, I do now. And I have my own company, and I'm a good business person, and I'm very excited to be taking control of my own uh, economic life. I love so this. I would just the big piece of advice I'd say to girls: no oh, matter how in love you are, 
keep your own mind. <laughs> Great advice. So, and one of my favorite stories you told me was about somebody trying to buy a piece of your business oh, yeah. for way less than it was worth. Yes, and I did have a, an investor who was interested in, well, he offered me quarter of a million, which was so much money for me at the time. Mm. And he wanted 50%. And I was tempted, but some instinct said, mm. don't do it. Don't do it. And I didn't. And that's the other piece of advice I would give anybody watching this. Male or female, canine or fish. <laughs> no, just trust your instinct. Like, mm. don't, just trust your instinct. Even if it doesn't seem sensible, that's, that's what I call my knower, K-N-O-W-E-R. Mm. And when I do that, everything's fine and I, and some instincts said so no 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 keep control of your own company and i'm very excited about it so now i've just recorded a book in london with virginia mckenna who starred in the movie born free wow. which was rudyard kipling's how the elephant got its trunk and other wild animal stories clive hayward who i heard on the bbc i heard his voice i thought this guy is fantastic and i hired him to narrate frankenstein and dracula Wow. We've just released great classic horror stories. Oh, good which timing is with just Halloween coming, out coming up. Halloween. Look for those. And uh, yeah, and we also have another Berkshire writer, Gerald Elias, who's a violinist with the Boston Symphony, and his uh, his novels, Dance Macabre and Devil's Trill, actually have music played throughout the mystery Ooh. by him, which we did. I just said I heard him reading. I said, "Has he had had these novels, which are about a blind violinist?" Um, been done on audio and he said no they hadn't I said let's do them on audio and let's have you play wow. music within the novel so all of this is on our, is on the website if anyone's interested and and even if you're not <laughs> so what keeps you in the Berkshires you you have chosen oh, to be here you seem to love it here I love it here you're doing international work but here you are so talk to us about what what's that about? there's an energy mm. the mountains are beautiful uh, the people are kindred spirits there's mm. an a, a creativity that's very exciting. I ski. I love to ski. That helps. Uh, and also, the Stockbridge Bowl is a great place to swim in. It's it's the natural beauty and and Shakespeare and Company mm. and the and the highly creative environment and people who get it. Nice. Like-minded people in the Berkshires. Here we are. Here we are. So let's end with talk about you're inspiring so many people uh, around the area. Tell me. What, you want to hold the stick? All right, you can hold it. <laughs> She's now holding it. I'm hands free. I'm just very excited to be holding this stick. <laughs> She's in charge. Like, you know, <laughs> so my last question for you is tell me about women in the Berkshires in business who inspire you. There's so many, but there's probably two or three that I would pick out. Obviously, Tina Packer. Okay. But there's two others. Uh, there's Susan Whistler, who I have met maybe twice who I think might be the most impressive woman in the Berkshires, what she's done for the Mount with her keen intelligence mm. and balanced way of doing business is extraordinary. So definitely Susan Whistler. And Mary Burley, who mm. was the extraordinary principal of Muddybrook Elementary School and has just moved over to, I think, head up the education department at the Norman Rockwell Museum. And uh, these are two highly intelligent, uh, women who are creating their own lives and and uh, that's those those are two and and Tina so three there's so many there's um, so many yeah yeah, yeah. but and I would um, cut you off if you tried to name any more because we only <laughs> have time for those <laughs> okay all right so give us a final anything you want people to know or look for or go out and buy give us a promotional thing right now uh -huh. Well, I, I do think you ought to buy my book, which is called The English American. This one, the one yes. that you wrote. Yes. If you and haven't read it. Now, here's the or, question. Or should they, audio, right, should they get this or should they get well, this? Well, if you're driving back and forth from the, from the Berkshires, you should go to um, alisonlockandpresents.com or you can get it for free oh. with a one-month trial subscription to Audible, but you oh, have right. to go to the website. Um, I do think you ought to listen to the complete novels of Jane Austen. All 81 hours of it. All 81 okay. hours of it. And um, I think sounds like a good winter activity how by about the fire. Fairy tales of the fiercer sex. What is that? Uh, one? It's fairy tales uh, that I picked out of Grimm's and all the other fairy tales about women who don't sit around waiting to be rescued by a man on a white horse. No, no, they rescue themselves and sometimes even the people they love. Oh, and another great 
uh, timing for our Women in Business Month that we're featuring. This yes. seems very apropos for Yes, that. and if there are any women in business who would like a recording studio. <laughs> yes, uh, I want to do our sign off from the studio. So yeah. head back into I your mean, little you booth can, here. You can probably rent it if I'm not using it. I might be using it. She's not using it. It's available. Reasonable rates. Reasonable rates. And you'll just sit down like she's doing right here. And you'll put the, and headphones, you'll put the headphones on. on and, and you'll, you'll go. speak into the mic and give us a sign off. Give us a sign off in your best radio narrating voice. Or not radio, but you know, audiobook narrating voice. I love the Berkshires. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> All right, everybody. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining. <laughs>